Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. It is great to be back with another video. It's been a long and busy week and I have missed getting to show you some journals. So I do have several that will be listed throughout the week when I have a chance in my shop, which is nevermorecreation17.com. So be sure to check back daily to check not only the journals that are on sale. <laughs> my boys are so loud out there. They're playing happy. Oh, well. Um, and also all of these will be added so they may or may not be added when you are watching this but make sure you check uh the week so this is march 19th 2023 when i'm filming this so it'll be up the 19th the video will be up either the 19th or the 20th and then this whole week uh will be these will be available okay so here's the first journal i love the clock the watch right in the middle i think that's really cool and this is actually a book cover that has a collage over it and a fabric spine love the collage beautiful use of all these little papers i love uh, collaging papers myself this is called timeless uh memories this is by amber Amber created this, Timeless Memories. We're going to take a quick look at these beautiful pages. Lots of useful pages and things to look at. Pockets and bits and pieces. Lots of papers and pages uh, that you can make your own with various inks and sprays. And trying different pens out and all of that there's looks like vintage papers in here as well as different scrapbook papers or perhaps even digital prints the, i like the nice big tucks and pockets where you can store your journaling cards and many different surfaces it all has rather a vintage eclectic feel to it a little more on the vintage side of course but love the different papers and texts just using everything that probably she has laying around beautiful nature images a lot of both vintage and nature wonderful use of collage and scraps but not overdoing every page i love the little snippets of lace not even on every page but if you watch and this is something i've mentioned in videos before to get a beautiful lace edge on a journal you do not have to have yards and yards and yards of lace just little snippets that are offset i usually like to do um every other page or every fourth page depending upon what i'm doing um kind of like this and it it, it leads to a really pretty profile but definitely using your resources well um, and not having to set the price of your journal super high because you used so much product and the pages lay a lot more flat and are a lot easier to write on but you still get a beautiful aesthetic i love the aesthetic of this journal you will not be disappointed in the quality either these are sewn in very well it feels very sturdy i love the little sewing uh, bits that are hanging the little threads it's a gorgeous dark brown thread. I love that. And there is a lace closure. And of course, you can use this lace on something else if you prefer to not have a closure on this journal or maybe use an elastic closure or a ribbon closure. So, and you can see the words timeless right there. So that's this one. Then we have this slightly smaller. It is a canvas fabric with some, it's black with these beautiful white scripts and some silver looks like silverware and dishes. This is called Relaxing Moments. This is also by Amber. And look at her use of black lace and black lace tabs. And again, there's only a total of five of them. And I believe she used the same lace for the closure. So that goes really well. It's not a whole lot of product, but it gives a really great effect. One thing, uh, one of my goals this week is to make sure that I have near me a little bucket of fabric and lace scraps. And I actually do, but it's not well curated. It's more just some random stuff that I threw in there and it's not serving uh, my needs for the journals I'm currently working on designing. Oh, look at the little, I love that ribbon bookmark and you can move that anywhere. So I need to go into my stash and cut off pieces that I actually will use um, that will coordinate with... The journals that I'm currently making. Um, I do have a few journals in the works right now and a whole ton of ephemera. I've really been on an ephemera making spree and I have two containers uh, full of ephemera 
uh, to use in my upcoming journals. Look at how beautiful that is. You know, I just printed. I don't have it here to show with you to show you. I might be able to show it to you uh, in the coming days or weeks when I do another video, but I purchased, and it reminded me of this, it's not this one exactly, but I purchased the digital yesterday from Vintage by Me on Etsy and loved it. It was on sale and I believe their shop is on sale right now. Um, well, it was yesterday and I paid $1.26 for five vintage papers that kind of looked like this, but they had different colorful stamps on it. If, <clears throat> excuse me, if I had the papers with me, I'd show them to you, but they're in my other room. I just thought of it as I saw that. So I don't know whose digital that was. Maybe she even lists in the front. Let's see. Um, oh, well, Amber has a YouTube channel, the creator of this journal, Delightful Creations. So check that out and you maybe you'll learn more about the resources she used if you go to her YouTube channel. But uh, check out if you're watching this on a tablet or if you're watching this on a computer. If you don't mind pausing the video just for a second and go over to Vintage by Me and uh, check out her sale because I bought something yesterday and I was it was really happy not only to support a small business and believe me our small businesses need supporting right now but as always but especially right now but um, I felt like I got such quality for my, uh, my dollar 26 so give that a little chance um this feels almost like wallpaper i don't know if it is but look at that beautiful butterfly and there's a feather here feels like wallpaper maybe it's a something else but yeah it's a wallpaper border you can you can see it was stitched onto this fabric there's a couple of dangles uh there's a little world and some uh, beads this is uh, Nature Secrets, also from Amber. And again, uh, taking a quick look at her tab use here. This beautiful lace with five tabs, not overusing the lace, but giving it a prominent place really makes you feel special. And there's some extra. I love how she included washi samples here in a pocket. You have five different washi samples that you can use throughout the journal, or you can take out and add to your washi collection. That's a very fun way to share your stash is to share it within the journals that you sell. And I am all for taking apart a journal that you buy. And what I, I mean by that is pulling out the things from the pockets and rearranging, uh, using journal cards and bits and pieces and scraps. You pull this out and it says, you are your best thing. And you could fold this in half and make a fliplet. You could round the corners, add more images. Even if you didn't want a saying, you could cut it off here and use this part, or you could cover this part and journal on this side. Take out the ephemera and make it your own. Uh, the journals that we create are to serve you, not the other way around. You don't serve the journal. It's meant to for you to arrange in a way that you would most like. And even if that means using some of the resources inside of the journal somewhere else, I do that. Occasionally I have journals either that I make or made by other people that I use parts of in other crafts. It's much better to recycle and reuse than um, to not be happy with the placement of something because we're all just a little bit different. This also would be beautiful to put a beautiful flower image on the front and have the butterfly peeking out from above it if you really like making changes to journals and making it your own. So there's always options to either leave it or to create your own creation. This is the next one and I have to say I love the fabric. It's beautiful. It's soft in the hand. There's a little uh, then my favorite closures are ribbon closures, so I love this closure. This is beautiful. Of course, some lace there. Two signatures. And this is called Dainty Blue Dreams, also by Amber. I love how it's fabric on the inside as well. This is very soft, and there's just a light batting in between. Um, and I love a good blue journal. It's it always super pretty. And I tend to craft with way too much pink, which I really don't know why. I would not say pink is my favorite color, but I do tend to craft with it a lot. So um, interesting. But that's why sometimes I love a, a beautiful blue journal because it's different than a lot of what I either craft with or what I see. And blue makes me happy. So some gorgeous papers here, some nice different thicknesses and textures even some fabric reinforced pages that make it extra special. If 
feel extra uh, thick or durable. Some beautiful watercoloring. Calendar pages are wonderful to use in journals. Music paper, I love a good music page. And of course, our little cute Tim Holtz people. Very sweet and adorable. And I love, this is definitely my type of crafting where you have something very modern like this. Please join me with tea for tea and then vintage patterns near it. I love the pairing of modern and vintage. I feel like it tells a complete story across the ages. We all love similar things. We just do it in different ways and in, in different aesthetics. So I, I enjoy that. Then this one is from Rita Henderson. It says thoughts. It's a gorgeous canvas and kind of a tone on tone lace there. Very clean lines. And this is uh, called thoughts and she's used digitals from my shop. Nevermore Creations 17. If you want to see my newest creations, I'm actually putting them back on Etsy. I'm actually getting the best success with my digitals on Etsy. Right now, my Creative Fabrica fans page is closing. Um, not because of me, but Creative Fabrica is closing down all of their fans pages. Um, they still have lots of things open, but I guess that that side of it didn't work as well for them. So I will be closing that down in the next month and figuring out what to do with those digitals. But if you want access to those digitals and get them downloaded, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be offering them again, and if so, when or where. So if you want those, um, go sub subscribe for uh, the month. There's only like one month left before they close it completely down. And I won't be adding, adding anything new over there, but there are hundreds of digitals over there that you can download. Um, and all you have to do is, you know, pay for one month. So you would want to do that like now, <laughs> if you wanted to make sure you had those in the near future. But my newest digitals are over on Etsy. My shop on Etsy is Nevermore Creation 17. You can find some of my older digitals on my Shopify uh, website, but I have not updated the Shopify to have my newest digitals. It does have all these journals. This summer, I'm going to be figuring out exactly what platform I want everything on, and I'm not sure I'm going to keep multiple platforms open. Well, I'll decide that this summer when I'm not teaching and I'm pretty much working at my uh, business not, I'm not going to do full-time hours, but you know what I mean. Probably part-time hours, but a lot more than I'm doing right now. This is a gorgeous, I just love all of the different kind of like wallpaper and vintage flowers with the rounded corners. And these are nice, thicker pages. They're like a lightweight cardstock. Um, a lot of them are. So you really have some substance if you're interested in that. This is a high, very highly made journal. And then we've got some little, little bitties here. Um, so we've got these two, so I'm going to sell these as a set of two, and you can see not only how gorgeous this ribbon is with the green and orange, but the butterflies and the mushrooms, this is a curious herbal, they're very similar, so this is number one and this is number two, and these are from Elizabeth Chisholm, and um, pamphlet stitch with hinged binding, and these are going to sell as a set because they're so small, but you can see how adorable these are they're little and I love this size this is a wonderful if you're not used to doing a lot of junk journaling or you get bored easily in one big journal this is a perfect size to do junk journal journaling in um, one time I did this size and I loved it and uh, as far as actually filling it up so this is a two set of two and you can keep one and give one to a friend or do one one month and one the next month. Or they could make absolutely adorable little home decor items for, uh, you know, decorating a certain room or a library or something like that. They can make great Christmas gifts as well. So there's that set of two. And then I'm not sure what this little one is. So we'll, we'll take a peek. I love the, you see all the thread around that and it's covered in lace for signatures this is oh this is a christmas one so a joyful christmas by elizabeth chisholm this one is a christmas one very little and obviously we're in march when we're showing this so this will definitely be a really good price probably the best price you'll get all year for a christmas journal so it'll be very affordable and how sweet would this be for a christmas gift there's lots of these gorgeous almost linen like blank pages for writing 
and um there's some of my winter oh no that's not mine that's Artie Mays I used some of those owl images in my winter wonders kit but that's an Artie Mays um arrangement of that beautiful and this is like almost like a handmade type paper so she used Nostalgia Graphic Land and Artie Mays, obviously both on Etsy. Very beautiful. Love it. So you get that chance to get a little Christmas journal set aside for next year. It's great to tuck into an order if you're getting other journals as well. All right. I hope you'll check back throughout the week to uh, pick up the journals that you want. And I will, uh, of course, wait till the end of the week to ship orders so I can ship them together if you're making multiple purchases. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.